Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mono Project. We here at the Mono Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, uh, advice, and um, I just did a, a, a previous video on uh, Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Atepsk being in Israel. And I was, that story reminded me of another story. Uh, whenever uh, Rabbi Menachem would write uh, uh, letters to people, he would sign them, and when he was writing letters from Israel, he would sign them, He who is very humble. He was very humble. That's how he would end his letters. And so uh, the Rabbi of Rizhin, uh, once was asked, listen, if Rebbe Menachem Mendel the, uh, uh, of Vitebsk really, truly was a humble person, why would he sign his letters, you know, that way? He was truly humble. Doesn't sound like a, a lot of humility there. Rabbi Rizhin uh, explained that Rabbi Menachem Mendel of the Tepsk was so humble, uh, he was so imbued with humility. It was because this humility dwelt within him that he no longer regarded it as a virtue. He was just merely stating a fact. In other words, he wasn't uh, showing off, he wasn't bragging. Because to him, it was no longer a virtue. It was just who he was. Um, he could have just said, you know, Menachem Mendel the tailor, uh, Menachem Mendel the butcher. You have to know the Rebbe Vitebsk to truly understand why he was doing things the way he was doing them. Um, humility is often misunderstood. Humility is, is often misunderstood as uh, putting yourself down, making yourself low. Um, that's, that's not true humility. It's having a realistic look at who you are and where you stand in this world with respect to the Creator. Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Atebsk had a good grasp on this, and that is why it is not considered bragging when he said, you know, he would sign his letter, he who is truly humble. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you find them uh, useful. I hope you find them inspirational. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.